Welcome back to the bluegrass on this beautiful March day. It's about 70 degrees, a little bit windy, but other than that, it is perfect adventuring weather, and me and my buddy Otter are fixing to head out on a big adventure. Come on, Otter. But before we go, uh, we have to review our formal schoolwork, right? And, uh, you know, for those of you who are familiar with my channel, you know my formal schoolwork is pretty simple. We teach a very basic vocabulary, easy. Uh, come, let's go, hop, easy, wait, and stay. And we expect that vocabulary to be able to be implemented. Come on, come on, hop, hop, hop. Uh, in a wide range of uh, uh, environments, right? And so we start off that training, easy, uh, on uh, our Exercise with Small Challenges course. Now, basically, what I'm doing here is a concept called priming the pump. Before I head out on a big adventure where the dog's not going to be on the leash, easy, and there's going to be a lot of distractions, I like to get in a little bit of review so the dog, like, you know, catalogs the relationship between having fun and having to do some stuff that's not that much fun, right? Now, this dog has walked to this course, up, up, wait, who knows how many hundreds of times since he's been here, okay? And so for me to come out here and say, hey, let's walk this course one more time, he's like, well, that's pretty boring. Okay, but the reality is that life is pretty boring before most all of the fun stuff. And so I have to get the dogs used to doing boring stuff before they expect to do the fun stuff, right? Okay, easy. Now, uh, back up, cameraman. We'll show them what I'm talking about. Like, let's say, for example, up, up, up. Otter likes to ride in a boat, okay? Uh, and you probably like to ride in a boat. But before you get to get in the boat, a lot of boring stuff has to happen, right? We gotta get the boat in the truck, we gotta drive over to the boat dock, we gotta get the boat unloaded. And while all that's going on, of course the dog's pretty bored, right? Well, like, in real life, if a dog gets bored and starts misbehaving, guess what happens? He gets left behind on those boating trips, okay? And so I can't tell him that with words. If I could just tell him, look, dude, if you don't act right when we're adventuring, you're going to get left at home, he would say, oh, okay, Stoney, well, I'll act right, I promise, right? But since I can't uh, tell him, I have to show him, right? And like, over time, they'll develop impulse control, and here's another thing that they'll develop. They'll develop the ability to wait patiently when they're faced with something that they're not sure how to do. A big problem when you're adventuring with dogs is sometimes they'll get ahead of themselves and think they can do things, uh, you know, a little bit better than they can. So you see how he gets in the boat? He's really good at getting in the boat. But back up a little bit, cameraman. He struggles somewhat with getting on the four-wheeler. Come on. So I'll come over here. Now, he likes to ride on the... Come on, Otter. He likes to ride on a four-wheeler. Uh, he really likes to ride on a side-by-side -side a lot more. These English chubbies, they're so fancy. You know, they want the fancier ride. Otter, come on. So I'm going to ask him to come over here and get on the four-wheeler. Come on. Oh, my gosh. And he says, well, Stoney, what about the boat? Because getting on the four-wheeler is kind of hard for me. And I say, well, if you'll just come over here and make an effort, I'll come help. You know? And that's a really important concept with the dog. You have to develop within the dog kind of this expectation that they have to do some boring stuff before they get to do the fun stuff. And when they're faced with a problem, not to rush through it or avoid it, but face the problem and just ask for a little bit of help. If they can just stop and ask for a little bit of help, then you can come over, you can get them in the truck, you can get them in the boat, you can get them out of the boat, you can get them on the four-wheeler, and you guys can go to having fun, right? And so that's why I review. You know, I didn't want to have to review getting in the boat once we got over to the, to the, to the river. I didn't want to have to review getting on the four-wheeler once we got over to the farm. I'm like, dude, okay, let's just, just cover this. He's like, okay, Stoney, I'm good with the boat, but I need a little help on the four-wheeler. All right, I got you, you know? And so as long as this dog and I know what to expect from each other, we're gonna have an awesome adventure. And that, guys, is how I go out and I have such, uh, you know, such a successful, like, uh, you know, time with these dogs off the leash. Because they're not, you know, I'm not going out and making them mind. I'm going out and showing them that if they'll hang around with me and they'll do their part, I'll do my part and we'll all have a good time. All right, well, that's my pro tip of the day. Get out, get doing some fun stuff with your dogs, but never let your dogs forget that the boring stuff you know, the work, it has to come before the play. And if you'll do that, you're not going to have any problems off the leash on your adventures. And you'll be sending me emails saying, hey, thanks, Uncle Stoney, for changing my life. All right, I'll see you all next week.